During this live, I want to discuss aligning your closet with your lifestyle. So many of my clients come to me and say that they feel their wardrobe hasn't transitioned with them. They still have clothes from when they were in college or from previous careers or when they were different sizes. It's filled with past purchases from totally a different time in their life. As we develop and evolve, we want our wardrobe to be working with us and not holding us back. But before we dive in, I wanted to give a quick introduction. I am Emmeline Chapel, and I'm a certified personal stylist. I have my own company called Emmeline's Personal Styling, and I help busy women elevate their style by discovering a new way of dressing to look luxe for less. So today I want to briefly discuss how to create the perfect wardrobe by aligning it with your lifestyle. So one of the top reasons you have a closet full of clothes, but you feel like you have so little to wear is because your wardrobe isn't in sync with your lifestyle. So essentially your closet should have the most clothes and areas that you spend the most time in. So for most women, their closet doesn't align with their lifestyle based on shopping habits. Maybe they like shopping for an imaginary lifestyle or it hasn't transitioned to who and where they are now. So maybe they have a ton of special event dresses, but most of their time is spent working during the week. Or they have a lot of knee-high boots based on um, they really like the trend or the aesthetic of it, but they live in a hot climate. So we want a functional wardrobe, which means it's tailored to your lifestyle. It's filled with outfits that make you feel fabulous and help you feel good and ready to tackle the day no matter your plans. In order to have your closet reflect your lifestyle, it's helpful to have an idea of what types of activities you need outfits for and how often. So you need to analyze your current wardrobe. Do your clothes represent you now? Analyze your lifestyle and assess your weekly outfits. This will help you um, ask the question that is super essential. What are the changes that I need to make to upgrade my wardrobe? So step one would be write a list of every activity that you do in three weeks and include how many days typically you need outfits for each activity. So for example, you could write work in office, working from home, presenting at a conference, date night, gym, brunch with girlfriends, networking event, black tie. And then step two, create categories of activities that you can wear similar outfits for and add up the number of times you need an outfit for each um, category. So if you wear roughly the same outfits going to brunch with friends and running errands, they can all go under the same category. So under, let's say, weekend wear, you could include both of those activities and how many times you need an outfit in those three weeks. Step three is to make a pie chart representing how often you need an outfit in those average of three weeks for each category. It doesn't have to be exact measurements, you just want to be able to visualize the proportions and then make a second pie chart that represents your current wardrobe using the same activity categories and now compare the charts. So you're gonna look at the lifestyle pie chart with your three weeks of activities and you're gonna compare it to your current wardrobe pie chart and see which categories are under or over or well represented. So you may see on your pie chart that your lifestyle, you work for the majority of the pie chart, but in your current wardrobe, you have way too much lounge wear. So you could also take it a step further and analyze the functionality of each piece in your closet, how it works well with the activities you're dressing for. So when looking at your pieces and your lifestyle, think about the specific functionality criteria each piece should fulfill. So for example, you could think about the weather, the climate that you live in. When you look at the piece and your lifestyle, think about how often am I indoors or outdoors for the specific activity in those three weeks? Do I get hot or cold easily? Does this piece conform to a specific dress code needed for the activity? How much walking am I doing? Do I need heels? Do I not? You could look at your bags, think about, well, what am I carrying on a day-to-day -day basis? What's the ideal structure, the weight and size of the bag that I need? And think about what level of maintenance you're prepared to commit to. If weekly trips to the dry cleaners doesn't fit into your budget or your weekly schedule, keep that in mind. 
If you're not a fan of ironing, it's a better idea to stock pieces in your wardrobe made from fabrics that won't easily wrinkle or they don't need to be super crisp to look good. So taking the time to go through this process of analyzing and comparing your lifestyle with your current wardrobe will help you edit your closet more accurately and appropriately, and you'll have a precise plan when shopping. So you'll know exactly what items that you need to restock that are necessary pieces to your lifestyle. So keep in mind when it comes to shopping, it can be expensive and impractical to buy a whole new wardrobe to upgrade all at once. Think about how many pieces that you need for your lifestyle. Look at your current wardrobe and the pie chart of your lifestyle and set a plan to get the necessary pieces that suit your lifestyle and reflect where and who you are now and what the type of clothes that you want to be projecting with the image that you have now and use that to budget and integrate your new pieces gradually. Analyzing your lifestyle with your current wardrobe will get you one step closer to creating the perfect closet because it's not functional and if it's not reflecting who and where you are now, you'll keep experiencing those days of feeling like you have nothing to wear. So if you have any questions about this video, please leave a comment down below or send me a direct message and I'll answer you as soon as possible. Or if you would like any help with your personal style and your wardrobe, please reach out through my website. Thanks so much and I'll see you next Monday. Bye.